excuse me, next up for today, uh, we have a Cree LED flashlight purchased from DealExtreme.com. Came in, a, in one of their normal bubble mailers with uh, inside cardboard box. Also came with a belt holster. I haven't decided if I'm going to use this or not, but it seems like it's Nope, that's right. Nope, the belt holster tore fairly easily. Yeah, I'm not going to use that at all. I'll just put it right in my pocket. Um, this one's got a uh, three mode, uh, one click, low, uh, high power. Click it again, off and on, low power beam. Click it one more, off and on one more time, and then you get strobe. Um, it adjusts the uh, the lens by pushing or pulling. You don't have to sit there and endlessly turn to adjust the lens. Also, this flashlight can be run off of either three AAA batteries, and it will go into a, a, the reduced light mode, and then only in strobe mode for three AAA batteries, or. Uh, you can use a single um, 18650 cell. And I'm going to be using this flashlight to replace this very old mini mag light that I've been carrying in my pocket for uh, about 20 years now. But uh, batteries and bulbs, yeah, it's not very bright, so 18650 it is. The aluminum casing seems to be a fairly decent quality. And here we go. Suppose you could also put it down, you'd have a little nightlight effect, but it might get a little hot if you do that. Let's get something white so we get a better. Better idea here. Off. So, oh, I think I was in low power mode. Uh, there's strobe. I thought if it stayed for a while, it'd reset itself. But uh, apparently, you gotta go through. If you shut it off, you, can, you do gotta go through all three modes, or uh, two, the other, the, the remaining two modes to get back to uh, the high. There we go, that's high. Low. And with the 18650, strobe is high power strobe. Let's put it in low for a second here. Do a beam adjust. Now, the thing I found interesting is uh, when you adjust the beam, I wonder if you guys can be able to see this. When you adjust it to a certain point with this lens that's on here, you actually get the actual shape of the emitter. That is the actual shape of the LED emitter inside the flashlight. Let's see if I can adjust the beam. I have to stand up on a chair to get this one. Kind of neat. There you have it. Um, overall, it seems to be fairly sturdy. Uh, 
the top and the lens is low, lower quality. Uh, plastic lens, which is expected. This was about seven or eight dollars. Um, plastic cap, actually not me. Now this whole whole front end is all plastic, including the lens. Uh, the lens is a little bit on the dirty side in terms of manufacturing with burrs and whatnot. The rest of this seems to be fairly decent. And there's your emitter. 